Hello folks, good afternoon. Earthmaster here on the live stream with an update video on a uh, large earthquake striking out here on the Earthquake 3D globe. By the way, it is Wednesday, March 30th, 2022, about 2.21 p.m. California time. And uh, there is that strong earthquake here. Going to be a 6.7 magnitude earthquake striking this region of the world. Originally came in as a 7.0 earthquake. Go ahead and check out some specifics here of this uh, earthquake activity strike in the region. Stand by for just a second here. Get that to work. There we go. Uh, yeah, kind of some weird computer issues going on today too. Not for sure what's going on. It could be related to the uh, solar weather event. Of course, I think we're just getting started in terms of seeing uptick in earthquake activity. Uh, this all comes in as a uh, predicted forecasted G3, possible G4 solar storm coming up here tonight, later tonight. There's that 6.7 near the uh, New Caledonia area, just southwest of Fiji. This one relatively shallow, 10 kilometers for that uh, depth of the earthquake. Of course, we have seen a trail of earthquake activity throughout the day and over the past couple days here. Uh, this one here, relatively shallow. Again, a 6.7 earthquake, uh, no tsunami statement or warning from this earthquake, uh, from this earthquake, but we will double check, make sure, right? Originally came in as a magnitude seven there on the map. The informational statement uh, from the tsunami.gov warning center states that uh, based on all available data, there is no tsunami threat from this earthquake. I kind of like to verify with the national data buoy center here uh, when it comes to potential wave height uh, differences and uh, events. I don't see anything popping up here, at least on this map, in terms of tsunami potential. Luckily, that was not a super large quake, but you know what? I have a feeling it's going to be a super busy day uh, with not only the earthquake activity, uh, but uh, the solar weather events that are coming in. A little bit of activity ramping up here along the west coast. Uh, looks like right around the Pyramid Lake area of Nevada, seen a 2.5, and then uh, some activity further down south throughout the western portion of the states. We will see how this plays out, folks. Once again, a 6.7 earthquake into the New uh, Caledonia area. This also comes after a pretty significant X flare, kicking things off earlier this morning. The Solar Ham. Dot net website showing that uh, X flare and X 1.3 pretty strong flare along with a subsequent CME that was produced. We're still kind of uh, uh, looking at the technical data when it comes to seeing if this is earth directed or not. As far as the CME goes, uh, this significant X flare did cause a major blackout in the D region absorption map. Uh, directly over North America and the South America region when the sun was just uh, well, a few hours ago when it was directly overhead caused some radio blackouts around the high frequency 3 to, 3, uh, 3 to 30 MHZ range and low frequency so uh, yeah pretty crazy events going on here last time we had a major solar uptick we've seen some, uh, some major earthquake activity and it's kind of looking that way as well uh, today, we have not seen any uh, indications of the arrival of the CMEs that are forecasted to hit the Earth. Right now, KP index is still pretty mellow at about 2. We are predicting upwards around the 7, or potentially uh, a little bit higher if we reach G4 uh, storm category. Um, solar storm, not hurricane, but... Uh, yeah, going to be an interesting day. There's the uh, G3 prediction, detailed forecast here. Looks like right around the 06 time frame, 06 UTC time frame on the 31st. So 06 right now, the UTC time is uh, 2105. So we got about three hours or so uh, before we start to enter that window of the G3 class storming but uh, we're still kind of waiting on the arrival of uh, of the predicted G1 right G1 class storm right here that's coming up it looks like uh, around the 18 to 24 UTC time period 
So that could be any time now we could uh, start to see the amping up of the first arrival of the CME and then of course the 06 uh, UTC time frame where we see that double impact basically one combined large CME that's supposed to smash into earth here and uh, possibly provide us with uh, some storming conditions the Aurora down to Oregon Illinois uh, if it does come in a little bit stronger than they forecast and uh, obviously we could see storms uh, a lot lower on the uh, on the map when it comes to the Aurora so we'll keep an eye out for that for sure but now just now not 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 seeing that but anytime now we're going to see that ramp up a little bit all right folks we'll be back a little bit later this evening like i say it's going to be a busy day i think we're just getting started in terms of earthquake activity we'll be back a little bit later tonight folks stay tuned <laughs>